Hi and welcome back to Botanic Designs. I purchased myself a very beautiful platycerium, our staghorn fern, and I'm going to place this fern on a piece of bark. It looks like I have two, so I already made an extra piece of bark. And I'm going to show you today how I'm going to place it on the bark. Platyceriums don't really grow in pots like this. Platyceriums grow in uh, trees and they will grow like this on the side. So it's advisable to place it on a piece of bark uh, or a piece of wood. I like the shape of the bark, but if you have a piece of wood, you can also do that. Looks like I have two ferns, uh, so I can split it and I can place it on two different uh, pieces of bark. Uh, first of all, I'm going to take it out of this pot and then divide it and take off the extra soil. We need, of course, the fern. We need to have a piece of bark and we need to have fishing line, a few screws and a specna moss that I sterilized in the microwave. First of all, we're going to take out the fern from the pot. Let's do that slowly. Trying not to harm. I'm going to fill this one up with water to, in order to place the platyserium in water. And then it's easier to split it. Pick it up, place it in here. Okay. Have to make some place. Now, let's try to have a look what's going on. We can see a lot of roots and it looks like I am able to divide it somewhere over here. I'm just going to give it a try. And another one. Now we're trying to take off as much from the roots and then I'm going to have a look how to place it. Taking off some roots I'm going to take sphagnum moss and it's still a little bit hot but it will eventually will 
pull down. Now I'm going to take a screwdriver and a few screws. I'm putting some screws in order to be able to anchor the the front it should be placed somewhere like this somehow I'm still going to take off the roots it's just too big I have the fishing line going to place a knot for the beginning. a knot to secure the fishing line. I'm going to place another knot. And then cut it off over here. I finished this one and it's secure. On the back I placed already some wire to hang it on the wall. I have a very beautiful wall in the garden and I'm going to place it over there. It's hanging in the gar it's hanging in the garden now for more than a month, almost a month and a half. It's doing very well. Uh, it's even developing new leaves. So it's really enjoying its place. If you liked this video, please don't forget to press like, subscribe and the bell and you will get an update every time I upload a new video. Hope to see you next time.